What is going on guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Scholars. Today I'm going to be going over five tips to help you succeed in 2021. Before I forget and before you forget, hit the subscribe button. It's really easy. You just slap that thing and you are ready to go because if you're not subscribed by now, I'm not really sure what you guys are doing. Like, Come on guys. Okay, anyway guys, so tip number one, watch out for the back end rotation guys. Basically, you have your standard starters who are doing really well for teams, but their fourth and fifth starters, look out for them because they can really emerge and surprise everyone this season. It happens every year where a fourth or fifth starter is actually really good, so you want to you want to be on that right away, guys. And I'm going to help you throughout the season, but you want to get those guys before they're massive, before they're you know on that waiver wire and everyone's like, oh, I got to get this player and I got to get this player. So look out for those back end rotation guys because they are key to helping your pitching just accelerate in 2021. Tip number two, keep an eye out for ineffective closers. Every year you have a closer that just does not do well or that they just get hurt. So you got to keep an eye out for that because you want to grab that next guy who's going to become the closer for that team. And like last year with Craig Kimbrell, he was really iffy, so then like Rowan Wick came on, so you want to get those guys as they're becoming the closers. That is key, you guys, because it's hard to get closers. It really is hard to get closers. You can get good relief pitchers to help you with holes, but to get those saves and get those closers, you really have to dig for those guys. So really look to see if guys are going to get hurt or if they're just ineffective and they lose their closing job. Now we have tip number three, which is watch prospects. Huge, guys. Look at what happened to Eloy Jimenez. He got hurt. He's out till September. So who's coming up? Andrew Vaughn. Top prospect for the White Sox. So you have, during the season, you have to be looking at these prospects. You have to be like, okay, when is Wander Franco coming up? You know, when is Mackenzie Gore coming up? Keep an eye out for these guys because as soon as they get called up, they may explode onto the scene. They seriously can explode onto the scene and you can get a top player. Yes, and maybe not even a top player, but a very, very good player. So know your prospects, know what's going up with them. I'm going to help you guys, but really, really look out for that because prospects are huge and they can make an insane impact and really help you win a championship. All right, tip number four, trading quality versus quantity. This happens a lot. You're going to get a trade request that is like, here are five crap ass players for your one really good player. Don't fall into that trap. That is a dangerous trap because young, like I would say beginners kind of are like, okay, if I trade five guys away that are just mediocre players, I can get a really good player. No, look at the quality that you're getting back and don't give up quality for just a quantity of like 200 to 300 ranked players that are just like had one good week and then they just kind of throw them into like a little trade package and you're like and then they're like oh well I'm gonna trade you five players to get your one player look you're getting depth uh, no you're probably getting bench guys so just keep an eye out for that because you don't you do not want to fall into that trap it sucks. You don't want to just fall into that trap at all. So make sure you get quality back, not necessarily quantity. Try to get both, but really look out for that, guys. You don't want to fall into that trap. And lastly, we have categories and kind of how you gain ground on them. Now, a lot of you guys are in a rotisserie league, and um, you have to basically gain categories, or even head-to-head, -head, you're like, oh, I'm kind of lacking in stolen base categories. You want to make sure that you are making a transaction that helps you in a category you can actually gain ground on. You don't want to go trade for a guy who's like really good, but he doesn't help you actually improve your team, improve overall. Like what if you trade for a guy who's like, oh, he hits a lot of home runs, but you're already good at home runs. So look at the category that you're struggling in. Like maybe it's stolen bases that you're getting that guy back that you can improve on stolen bases and don't, you know, look at a category that you are way out of it. Like, look for the category that you're close, that you're like, I can gain ground. You know, if I get this guy, he's really going to help me 
improve stolen bases. I'm really close to that next category. So you want to make sure you get um, players that are helping you in those categories that you can actually gain ground on. Thank you all for watching. Baseball is almost here. It's wild. More videos coming out. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. I will see you all next time.